Barbara Now, The Veterans Project. This is a show where we talk about issues affecting veterans um, and uh, veterans in our very own community. Uh, we have a great show. Uh, thank you for joining us. Uh, I'm going to introduce uh, my co-host, Amy Amoroso, who is uh, the State Director of Veterans Business Outreach. Uh, she's joining me here today. Welcome, Amy. Thank you, Angelo. It's a pleasure to be here. Yes, my name is Amy Amoroso. I am the New York State Director for Veteran Business Outreach. And it's my pleasure today to introduce our two guests here, uh, Mr. Mark Kring, who is owner of Veteran Seal Coating, LLC. Thank and you for having me. Thank you for being here. <laughs> uh, and Mr. Ken Williams, who is the Director of the Division of Service Disabled Veteran Business, uh, Division of OGS. So, Ken, why don't you just explain a little bit about what, who you are, what you do, and, and how you can help veterans in our state. Well, thank you for having me. We, um, this is a, an amazing opportunity for veterans today. Um, thanks to the legislature and the gover governor, uh, Governor Cuomo, we have now the possibility or the reality of being able to have preferential um, availability of contracts for service disabled veterans. A service disabled veteran for New York State for this law is 10% or more disabled. Um, they have to have their own business and operate their own mm -hmm. business, and we have a certification process in place. Um, you know, we're gonna get into a lot more detail about how to, um, uh, you know, put your application in and, and, it's, and other things when we talk a little later. But right now, I want to uh, just try to let everyone know or be comfortable with applying for this, um, for this certification. The staff, that we have in the division are all veterans. Two of them are service disabled veterans. Um, myself, I've been in the private sector forever. Uh, I just started this position in August of, of uh, this year. Um, we are very much positioned to uh, work with you, uh, help you in any way we can to uh, fill out applications and, and move forward. What does this do for you, this really the, the goal is 6% of state contracts, which is a huge number, okay? Um, we have not enough service disabled veteran owned business firms in this, uh, in this state right now to be able to reach that. So as of today, we have certified 41 businesses Excellent. and we have you know, a lot more applications in process, but more importantly, we're, we're working with people like Amy and others around the state um, I was just down in New York City today with, with the MOVA, with the Mayor's Office of Veterans Affairs. We're working to try to create opportunities, pathways to certification for veterans that don't already have businesses right. through mentorship programs, mm -hmm. through other things like that. So that's just a quick overview, Amy. I don't know if that... No, I think that's wonderful. Okay. okay. And you said 6%. So is that, does that make New York the leader? I mean, I understand that's that we're leading the charge here with this. Uh, we with are. This new we uh, are. That's, that, okay. that's a big number. Mm -hmm. And, uh, but what we're really trying to do in the initial stages of this is to maximize opportunities for all of the firms that have been certified. Okay, because the 6% number is a big number, and we will get to that in a number of years. Yes, but, yes. you know, we're, we're, we need to roll this out in a, in a controlled way and make sure that every firm that gets certified has opportunities. Mm -hmm. And uh, we're going to talk to Mark in a second, but, uh, you know, what, one, of the, uh, one of the things that Amy and I talked about is, uh, you know, people understanding that this is out there and what the process is and how you do it. Um, and so is there... I guess is there an easy way to say, hey, I can call this number, or I can stop in, and and, and here's you know here's well, here's the steps. Yeah, the 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 easiest way is 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 go to ogs.ny.gov, okay, and uh, right in the middle of the page okay. that comes up is service disabled vets. Click on there, and it'll you'll have all the connections to to my office, to the application, to everything else, and a phone call to us will you know help anybody answer any questions that they have. And it, it's great to know New York is leading the charge on this and we, 6% is an ambitious goal. Very um, ambitious. How would, how, would you, how, would you, how would you anticipate, I guess, uh, as far as trying to get through this process, would you say it's a fairly easy process, people shouldn't be afraid of it to say, oh, I'm never gonna be able to qualify, should I even bother? They, they, shouldn't, they shouldn't be afraid of it, but it's, you know, I, I don't wanna say it's easy <laughs> because it's very important for us that this program benefit the service disabled veterans. Exactly. So we, you know, we want to eliminate any possibility of fraud. Mm -hmm. So we're, we ask for a significant amount of information. 
That information, every bit of that information is for a specific reason, for assuring that the businesses are what they are. Um, the application process, you know, we're trying to have it, you know, we're, we have 90 days to, to do the whole process, but we're really shooting for 20 to 30 days to turn this around. Um, you know, it depends whether you're federally certified or not federally certified already. It's a little easier if you're already federally certified, but nobody should be afraid of it because the information that you're providing uh, is necessary to make sure that you get the kind of contracts that you want, that the program works, and that you can deliver on that. And that's real encouraging. That's great to know that uh, uh, we're, we're working towards getting this program uh, administered and out to people. Um, and uh, our, our, our next guest that we're going to talk to uh, is actually a client of, of Amy's. Yes, Mark is a client of mine. And just, just to elaborate on your point, I have, I have clients that actually came to you, and they are certified at this level right now. So Ken actually goes through, walks them through the process. So when you call OGS, and the division you're actually getting, Ken, which I think is a great, you know, it's, it's, it's wonderful that you're actually reaching out and talking to these veterans, number one, to make sure, yes, they're a veteran-owned business, and number two, that there is help out there, kind of like with that hand-holding service, which I really like to, you know, state. So. When I was asked, you know, why would I want to take this on at mm -hmm. this stage, um, it, it's a wonderful thing. I'm a vet, Vietnam era mm -hmm. veteran, and uh, the way veterans were treated back then oh. were not, was, was you know, was, 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 was not good, yeah. okay? <laughs> and uh, so it's, you know, we're very fortunate to be at a time when um, veterans are being, uh, you know, programs are being put in place to really yeah, help veterans, Absolutely. deserving veterans. And this works for not just the veterans, the young veterans, but also the Vietnam era veterans, Absolutely. okay? Yeah. so. Uh, this program can work and uh, if you don't have a business now contact us anyway because we have you know programs we can connect you to like Amy's yeah. and others yeah. that can help you build a business and and get you the resources that you need and so on and so forth so we'll partner with Ken and the agencies of course um, with the business development center that I'm a director of we do help with business plans cash flow projections general information on how to start your <coughs> business and with mr. Mark Crane here uh, back in June I believe of 2014 Correct. Um, we met at a boots to business program um, going through your transition from military career to civilian life and Mark is still in the military he's not transitioned out yet not quite yet so <laughs> thank you for your service thank you and um, so we met at this at this um, two-day curriculum that I teach and then Mark had then became my client thereafter and it's just been booming ever since so congratulations on the success of your business number Thanks, one um, and number two why don't you just explain a little bit about what your business is and what you've done and how this how you believe this state contract well, the business I started is uh, Veteran Steel Coating. It's an asphalt maintenance company. Um, the reason I started it was the uh, prime reason I wanted to put veterans to work. Absolutely. So uh, I was looking for something that anyone could do, you know, from any walk of life. Um, this is really exciting for me, this law, because uh, we started our business last year and I went the whole summer and I was primarily just residential. I didn't get into too much of the commercial error because I didn't have any way of getting into it. I didn't know the steps or process. So this. This is going to be important for us because I don't. I mean, this is going to open up all new avenues, and the more contracts that I can get, the more veterans that I can hire. And at the end of the day, that was my main goal, starting this business in the first place. So, and I know last year you were focused on residential, and now that you've seen that there can be contracts, or you just the commercial realm itself is a huge possibility for any business. That now you can actually get in there and take a foot, you know, get a footprint in that yeah. commercial field yeah, exactly. and, well, and start getting contracts. I know I haven't seen your application yet. So, no, so uh, <laughs> no, you haven't. Are, are, there, are there any? And I have viewed it, and it's, it is lengthy. <laughs> and we did go There's through the no process doubt. a little bit. No. I, I showed Mark the, the website, the application, which is right there, very easy, easy to get to, very easily accessible. So. Most of it's sustainable. I had a couple of questions like on uh, mm -hmm. like the resumes, why we actually have to put a resume on there. You know, we already have our DD-214 as our credentials on there. Why are we looking for like particulars like that? The, you know, we, we look at the entire package. So we're looking at tax returns, we're looking at other things. One is to verify 51% or more ownership of okay. a business, okay? Um, the resume specifically is do you have the capabilities that, to run the business? One of the things that have been, that existed in programs prior to this one, uh, you know, set aside, or not set asides, but I mean preferential programs yes. like this mm -hmm. in the past, um, is that uh, people would just have fronts, you know, so they would grab somebody and they would put them up there and it wasn't really them doing the work, it was everybody else. So what's really important to us is that you're starting a business that is going to be run by you mm -hmm. 
okay? And the, the fact that you're hiring vets is great and wonderful, and that's what we encourage. But more importantly, it's going to sustain you and your family going forward if it's your business, rather than just you being the front for somebody else right. and having a quick shot of money or cash, and then all of a sudden you have nothing, okay? So, you know, that's, that's the reason for the resume. We look for your credentials. We also, it's very important for us to make sure that the businesses we certify are able to deliver, okay, are able to perform. Because if we have a whole bunch of businesses going on to state contracts and they don't perform, it's going to harm the program. Okay, so exactly. you know the the you know that's part of what we're looking at is qualitative, and the other side of it is how much can you handle? Okay, so when we're setting this up and when we get asked by agencies, you know how much can they handle? You know we're looking at all of those aspects so that we can guide it, so that we can say, and I can use my experience, you know, to say, and talking to you and saying, you know, what level of contracts can you handle? Because if you take on something that's way over your head. Okay, as far as capital and everything mm -hmm. else goes, the next thing you know, you're fighting, mm -hmm. you, you know, you're, you're fighting to stay in business. Ken, you're saying that it takes about 90 days for this to happen. You guys are trying to get it down to 20 or 30. I'm really looking forward to this summer being able to actually pull some big commercial contracts. Is that possible? Is that Absolutely. feasible? Absolutely. The, um, I, I'm talking to agencies and authorities right now. We're doing a rollout um, with selected agencies and authorities. Okay, and um, the, we, we, because we don't have, with only 41 firms already certified, there's not enough to do, you know, all state agencies and all, you know, it mm -hmm. just, it would, it would just, uh, you'd never stop answering the phone. So, no um, you know, but uh, <laughs> by April 1st, this, this is going to be in the works. And, you know, if you put your application in tomorrow, okay, uh, I, you, you could be assured that you would be well in time. But what happens now, uh, now I'm a veteran owned business, I do seal coating, and there's 10 other veteran owned businesses that do seal coating. How does it get dispersed? How does this success the, get the, dispersed the, between the, all there, of us? There's, there's no giveaways, mm -hmm. okay? The unique thing about this bill is it contains the ab ability for the agencies to do set aside contracts. So in addition to being able to be subcontractors to you know general contractors and so on, the agencies are have the ability to s take a contract or a portion of a contract set it aside and say only service disabled firms can bid on this okay mm -hmm. so so That's if right. if there are two or more service disabled firms that can bid on a contract then they can do it and that puts you in a you know a, a nice competitive and now Ken when that position. when that happens uh, uh, going back to mark now how he's going to know where those are where to find those Every, yeah the contract reporters where everybody mm -hmm. goes but in, in all honesty um, the agencies are going to come looking for him yeah. Yeah. because they have to deliver yeah. on this and you know you know so I I'm meeting with them they have the list of certified businesses when your name gets on there um, you know they'll have that and it'll be updated on a regular basis and you know they're going to be looking you know there's a supply problem you know so you know when there's a supply problem it's good hopefully you know we'll you know we'll have hundreds of businesses certified here within the next year or so but right now you know, everybody is, and even even with hundreds, there still be a supply problem. Absolutely. I'd like to keep it just to one seal coating system. <laughs> <laughs> well, then you'd never get a contract because we can't. Uh, we uh, there's no way. I'll hire a, a thousand veterans if I have yeah. to. Can there there are no there's no way a contract will go out without at least two. Yeah, yeah, two competing. or three. Yeah, two or three is their comfort so, zone. So, Mark, so I mean, mm -hmm. you might have answered this already, but you're going through the process now. Mm -hmm. So, what's the certification process so far? What's your what's your thoughts on it? Um, it looked it looked feasible. I mean, I went through most of the basic guidelines. I don't see any issues with it. You know, I was looking at like, oh, why was he need a resume? I got to write a resume for this. But you know, he explained it. Um, I don't see it being complicated at all. It's going to take some time. There's a lot of paperwork involved, but yeah, the 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 feedback we've gotten from I, I I sent out an email to the certified firms and said what was good, what was bad, what was it? They found the application to be very good. They found the they found my staff to be extremely helpful, yes. um, you know, in, in working with people and, and walking people through. Um, there's some documents that you may not have. Don't let that stop you. Put in the application. Mm -hmm. You know, if, 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 we can, if we can find that we don't need it, then we'll, you know, we'll move without it. But most of them, you know, it's like organizational. It's, it's, the reason for the documents is to make sure that the veterans own the business and, that, you know, the capabilities. 
So there's a reason for everything. But if, you, if any of you question what the reason is why we want something, call us mm -hmm. and we'll explain. And again, it's the feasibility and the sustainability and the viability mm -hmm. of both the agency and the veteran in business. Correct. And that's what we want. And the one-on-one -on -one contact that's would be right. great. Just be able to make that phone call and get that information and not a recording. Right, and yeah. you know, and, and you're talking to you're talking to vets, yeah. Yeah. you know, and and that's big too. We're gonna take a short break. Uh, stick with us here on the Veterans Project. Uh, when we return, we're gonna talk more about uh, this particular Service Disabled Veterans Act uh, and a couple of other items uh, that are gonna come up in the second half of the show. Stay with us here on Santa Barbara now. Mm -hmm. Hi, I'm Angelo Santa Barbara, host of Santa Barbara Now: The Veterans Project. The show where we talk to local veterans in our own community, hear their stories, and hear about their experiences. With me, my co-host, Amy Amoroso. Thank you, Angela. It's a pleasure to co-host this program regarding veterans in our community. If you're a veteran or know of a veteran that would like to be on our show, please find us on Facebook or follow us on Twitter. You can also contact us at 518-355-1022 or by email at asantabarbara001 at nycap.rr.com. Don't miss the show. The Autism Society of the Greater Capital Region has been a great resource, a great tool. Uh, if you look at their mission, it's exactly what uh, it has provided for my family. Uh, it, it's a resource, it's a tool, it, it provides an avenue to, to advocate for autism awareness. Uh, when families have questions, they do the best to provide those answers. We're, we're happy to be a part of this organization, and the Autism Society of the Greater Capital Region has been there for us, and they will continue to be there for families. Welcome back to Santa Barbara Now, uh, the Veterans Project. I'm your host, Angelo Santa Barbara. My co-host, Amy Amoroso, is uh, joining me here today. We've been talking about the Service Disabled Veteran-Owned Business Act, uh, and we talked with Ken Williams, uh, who is our guest, who has been talking about the, uh, the process and applying for this, uh, uh, for this status and how it's going to help veterans. Uh, we have a new guest uh, uh, joining us here now, and uh, Amy is going to make that introduction for us. Thank you, yes. Um, let me introduce here Mr. Ken Curley, owner of Raymond Associates. Um, he's been in business for how many years, Ken? Uh, since 2000. Since 2000. And actually, we've been knowing each other for how many years now? A couple of years, probably two years. Yeah, two or three, two yeah. Two or three years, yeah. yeah. Okay. Um, so I know, Ken, that you are federally certified now um, as a SDVOSB, Service Disabled Veteran Owned Small Business. And as the state contract here, and why Ken is here, um, with a 6% that's now out for Service Disabled Veteran Owned Small Business. Um, Explain the process, because now you are federally certified. Explain why you want to kind of get into the state certification and how that's going to help your business grow. Well, thanks. It's great being here. Uh, and some of them, it's great seeing you again in your leadership. It's good to see you. This is really exciting for us. Mm -hmm. uh, we're federally certified. Uh, when you talked to me a couple of years ago and said when about this bill being passed, I actually thought it was going to take a lot longer. So mm -hmm. once it, uh, the bill came out, um, we've been working with Ken's office. It's, they've been phenomenal. Um, I've had fellow SDVOB folks that are federally certified ask me the question I'm going to ask Ken, uh, you know, since we're federally certified, uh, why do we uh, have to go, we understand that there's a process, but uh, for a lot of the veterans, they're wondering why they want have to be st state certified as well. Yeah, well, the, you know, we have put in place a process that is an expedited um, process for federally certified businesses. Uh, requiring much less information and, and so on. But it's important because there are certain aspects of this bill that are unique to New York, to New York State. And one is there has to be a significant contribution to New York State by this veteran business before we can certify because what we don't want is we don't want all of New York State money to be going all across the country and having, you know, those things. And it also provides us with the background information that enables us to match you best and give the information to the agencies best 
as to you know the level of performance and, and other things related to your business. Ken, Ken let me ask you this. Um, since the bill has been announced and signed, and I want to thank the governor for that, our phone is ringing off the hook about how we can assist mm -hmm. the fellow New York business folks that are uh, that want to work and team with uh, the six percent SDVOB. H how do you see that working? No, work and team. I'm not understanding. The well, we, we've had we've had um, construction folks call us. We've had. Uh, IT companies, non-veteran, non-non-veteran okay. New York State right. phones uh, companies that have already right. received information from the state that hey, you may want to team up with an SDVOB right. because there's going to be a lot of opportunities coming right. out. Right, right. The the um, I mean, thank you for that question because it gives me the opportunity to talk about developing businesses. Okay, one of the things that we absolutely do not want to have is a pass through. Okay, where they where you have companies just putting you know a service disabled event a name on the door and paying a few dollars and, and doing all the work themselves. What we are interested though in having those businesses identify service disabled vets that are capable and having them assist them in building their businesses. And my office will work with those firms and you know give certification and have benchmarks going towards independence, which is going to be a, you know a very powerful thing. For helping new businesses, so it's a, it's like a mentorship program. Oh, good. Now, Ken, the six percent. What do you think of that? Is that it's a pretty ambitious goal? I know New York wants to be the leader. Do you think that's enough? Do you think more is needed? I think the six percent is phenomenal. Uh, we've we've been working within the three percent federal uh, program, which is a goal. In okay. New York State, six percent is directive in nature, mm -hmm. and I think it's going to give uh, a tremendous opportunity for the veterans, uh, the soldiers that are up at Fort Drum, as an example. It gives them an opportunity and, and uh, to, to retire or transition out of the service from Fort Drum, you know, federal installation or West Point, for example, to open up a business in New York State, stay here, and if they have the service disabled veteran owned uh, business status, to really compete. This six percent <coughs> is hundreds of millions of dollars of contract. This is a this is a tremendous opportunity. I, I don't think. Folks realize how big this is for the for the veteran community. It's, it's huge. Well, and uh, I was looking at some numbers, and I know we talked about this before the show. Uh, New York State estimates 900,000 veterans that are here. Uh, so uh, I guess the question is, how do we get this? What's the best way to get this information out? I know we started talking about well, that, but what are some of the other things, you know, Ken, uh, Amy, that we can do uh, that, that we've been doing? Well, I know your <coughs> office has done it. Amy's outfit's doing a great job, and now that we've got the, the director here. A, a lot of this information, particularly in today's uh, today's uh, social media, they're doing a better job, in my assessment, of when the service members, uh, men and women that have served us proudly, leave both the Army, Navy, Air Force, Coast Guard, Marine Corps, what have you, they're doing a better job of the transition assistance program. And one of the things we need to highlight is this program. Right. I think, I think we're, we're on the roll to be yes. rolling this out as we speak. And as Ken said, in April, there's going to be this big um, rollout, turnout. What, uh, uh, well, the contracts will start through. flowing to the, yes. you know, to, to the already certified firms. And the, I mean, the, the, what we're trying to communicate to our audience here today is there is tremendous opportunity. Absolutely. Okay, Whether you have business currently or not, there are there is opportunity for you to, to get into programs that will help you start the businesses. There's mentorship programs. Mm -hmm. There's all kinds of ways. And so if you have any questions, you know, call us at our office. And again, go to the website ogs.ny.gov and uh, click on that and talk to our people or, you know, talk to Amy's, you know, group or, you know, Assemblyman's group, anybody. Just don't be afraid to talk. Speak out. Ask questions. And we talked about some of the documents, some of the things that are required to get right. through this process. If those are missing, uh, where are the resources to go? Is it is it people like Ken and Amy, or is there other places? Where the, we you know, doc documents. <coughs> we've got, for instance, the the law requires a disability letter dated within a year yes. of application. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, our people have researched. You know, a, a way you can do it in 15 minutes and yep. get it electronically updated. Mm -hmm. Uh, you know, so we can forward that, you know, that process. And the, do we have to have all of the documents? We don't have to have all of the documents if 
you know, we can make a decision without them. You know, the, 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 we, tried to keep, we tried to keep the amount of requirements as low as we could. If you look at the application, go on the website and look at the application, there's additional things that, you know, we may come back and ask for. And it might go so far as I may come and give you, you know, you know, go for a visit, which I've done to You've many. You've done that to many, some of my clients as yes, well. Yes, yes. Right? And mm -hmm. because, you know, we need to communicate, we need to have a sense that this is really going to go to the right people and that it's a legit, you know, they're, they're legitimate businesses, they're legitimate things. But that shouldn't scare you. If, you know, if you, you know, if you need to go to the next level, we're there to help you. We're not there to judge you. We're there to say, you know what, you're not quite there yet, but you can do this, this, and this, and we'll get you there. Right. It's a good hand-holding experience, even with Ken. He knows the federal side. He's right. federally certified at this level, so he kind of knows the application process, but still not the state requirements or rules yet. But, I mean, he's well on his way, and I'm, I'm sure he'll... And I think one of the key uh, organizations that, that uh, parallels and dovetails and teams up with Ken's outfit is the Veterans Administration. Absolutely. You Great have team. to be... Yeah. You'd have to be certified as a service disabled veteran uh, before you can have your business. And they really are jumping over backwards right now with documentation. As Ken would say, I, I've had some folks ask us for assistance and we help them through the Veterans Administration actually get their certification mm -hmm. document. And it comes out annual anyway. Mm -hmm. It usually comes out the first uh, uh, month of January. And they, because of his outfit, they've been getting them in 15, 20 minutes. Right online that's right. and they've been taking copies versus originals and so it's a, it's a process that's working but the VA both federal and New York State is key to working with the veteran and working with Ken's and there, there, there's one piece of this legislation that is a little underplayed and I want to make sure all of you are aware of it and that's the National Guard and you know the the you may not have a disability letter from the Veterans Administration but if you were, you know, had an injury, were in the National Guard, had a service-related injury, this program can work for you. The, the Division of uh, Veterans Affairs from New York State will actually give you a rating, and if it's 10% or more, then you qualify for this program. So, you know, be sure if you're National Guard, uh, you, know, you know, consider looking at the program as well. Great, great synergy, too. Everyone's working together just to push this out and really get our veterans into business, get their business off the ground, that would, they can get with my office, get them state certified, and eventually federally certified, and keeping them in New York is the key. That's what we want to do. That's right. I, I know Kenny already answered this, but uh, the, uh, the state is getting more involved. We talked about this in the first half, um, and obviously we're moving in the right direction. Why is that important? How is that affecting the people you're talking to? Why is that something we need to keep doing? Um, we have so many folks that right now, um, particularly small business owners, there are tremendous opportunities in New York State right now. Folks want to stay here. Mm -hmm. And when, again, going back to the military academy, going back to Fort Drum and other, the f other federal installations, you have a, um, a pool of young folks that are, that are coming out of the military that want to stay in New York. There's a lot of opportunities here, not just with Global Foundries, not just in the Capital District, but throughout the state. And uh, we're seeing a lot of veterans call us and just say, hey, could you help me with the process? And we sent them over to Ken's Alpha. Mm -hmm. Now, they just stood up in <coughs> August. The bill was just passed in May. There's a lot of energy with a lot of folks out in the field that are saying, when's this happening? It is happening. It is happening. And I got to give a lot of credit to Ken for spearheading this, coming out so quick, and then just, I mean, he's been on a roll. 41 now certified. Well, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll give credit to, uh, uh, to OGS, to the governor's Absolutely. people, um, for taking a chance on me because, I, you know, I'm, I'm not the typical, you know, I, I, my experience as entrepreneur, I've been an entrepreneur, I've started my own businesses, I've done that. This, this is like starting an entrepreneurial business mm -hmm. and making it work and making it happen and doing it right. And, and we're keyed in on that and I'm very grateful to have the opportunity. So. And seeing some of this happen now, I know you talked about pass-throughs and, and issues like that. What are some of the other challenges you're seeing with these 41 or that you've had to do so far? Or, or how far along are we? What, what are some of the things that you've seen? Well, there, I, there, <coughs> there, you know, s s some rejections are, you know, we've had applications with 0% disability, which is not anything I can do about. Uh, but we've had applications from other parts of the country where people have just formed businesses to, you know, just try to jump in and, and take <coughs> advantage of this program. Right. And, and, you know, the, that's, that's not going to happen. And, uh, you know, out-of-state businesses can be certified. 
okay, but they have to have a New York State contribution mm -hmm. to the economy of New York State in order to get that certification. Mm -hmm. And they have to be, the businesses have to be active and the, the service disabled veterans have to be involved in the day-to-day -day operations of the business. Mm -hmm. Uh, this has been a, a fantastic uh, topic. I wish we had more time uh, to continue this. Uh, uh, Service Disabled Veteran Owned Business Act. Uh, if you want to know more about it, if you think you qualify, we just talked a little bit about, uh, we just sort of scratched the surface yes. on uh, what the possibilities and the opportunities are. I want to thank you both for being on the show. Uh, I want to thank Mark, who was on the show uh, uh, for the first half as well, and Amy, as always, thank you for joining me here. Thank you uh, for the opportunity. And if you have questions, you can always contact my office. You can contact anybody on this show. Uh, and, and if you think you want to know more, uh, as Ken said, don't be afraid to ask the questions because you don't know if it's something that uh, maybe we're, may work for you. We're vets too, and we speak your language. Thank, thank you for joining us here on uh, Santa Barbara Now, the Veterans Project. Join us again. We're going to talk more about issues just like this and how veterans uh, in our community can take advantage of programs and the recent development in New York State. Join us again here. Thank you.